right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. So here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus. He is our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with the same height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, the king. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. He tags him. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh. Oh, left good hand left there. hand. He is going after it here. He hurt him with that hook. Rocked him with that right hand. Try to establish that jab. Oh, flipped him with the jab. Nice leg kicks. Working out of that southpaw stance. Well, he got his head snapped back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. He missed with that jab attempt there. That opened up a cut above the eye here. He's got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. Big power shots landing. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. Slips the punch. He's orthodox now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice. 
Once again, establishing the jab here. Good punch. Looking to avoid that left hand. And he connects with the punch there. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. And he lands a nice kick. He blocks the punch. Oh, tagged him. Good punch. Blocks the shot. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Oh. Oh. Increasingly more vulnerable to that strike. Certainly left the body wide open on that one. That leg kick lands. Nice jab. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? The horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's see some of the action here. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Um All right, second round underway. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's gonna win, but what's his opponent gonna be able to do to him? Whoa! Oh! He's trying to hang on! Man has his chin been tested in. Back up. And now starting to snap off that jab. Big straight punch. Well, this is as well as he has executed the striking game plan in his UFC career. Jeff, you see the numbers bottom of the screen. He has had that in his opponent's face from the opening horn, and he might even finish him with this jab if he's not careful. Absolutely. Look at that, right to the temple. Oh, he continues to effectively use his jab here, much like he did in the previous round, Joe. Whoa! The champ is in deep danger here. Oh! Now to go in round two. Back to his feet. Guillotine, guillotine. One-arm guillotine here. He's got the leg over the back. He's out of the choke. Get up now. Changes his stance. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. They clinch up once more. Oh, lands right here up against the fence. Beautiful body, body shot, shot there, too. Oh. This could be it right here. Well, you'll see a lot of fighters do this, Joe, as he lands another punch right at that opponent's eye where the cut is. It's a good strategy as he'll try to continue to work on what is starting to be a pretty significant cut. Slightly deflected. 30 seconds to go in round two. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. 
big punch from the bottom. Oh, he postures up and lands a massive elbow. elbow. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. That cut on the nose, manageable earlier, not so much right now. Really, really bad. The blood flow continuing to become a factor, and you got to think at some point, if it gets any worse, they will have... Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on... Oh! oh huge right hand! He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Hard hook. Huh? Both guys landing big shots. Nice leg kick. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss, and at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is gonna end up being an awfully long night. And Dizzy, as he looks to improve position here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Good left hand. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. That cut on his nose is really bad. They may stop this fight. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Oh! Kick to the face! He's got him hurt here. here on the clinch once again, Joe. Both fighters trying to gain a more advantageous position. He's got half guard. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's check out some of the action from that round. Here's a vicious kick. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the championship medal of these two fighters figures to be tested beginning right now. Fourth round is underway. That means we have arrived at the... Oh! Oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. He's covering up, doing a nice job of blocking those shots from the top. The cut on his nose is pouring blood. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. He got tagged there. Oh, nice job here, staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he lists himself as an orthodox fighter, but he's going to southpaw here, Joe. Well, he just missed on another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight. And offensively, I think his approach leaving a lot to be desired. Got to figure out a way to conserve some energy here moving forward. He's got a half guard here. Caught him with a punch. Excellent. 
excellent movement here on the ground. He's got half guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Big punch. Back to full guard. Very nice. Full guard. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. He's trying to get the guillotine. work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. And he moves into the mount. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Big oh, elbow beautiful there, elbow. Lance. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Elbowing him in the face. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. He's posturing up here. And oh, look at this! Wow! Unbelievable! Wow! Big ground and pound KO! Yeah, Joe, that was some outstanding ground and pound to get the opponent out of there. He was throwing big shots there on the ground, man. Not just looking to score, but actually looking to end the fight and to make sure the judges stayed firmly out of this equation. Elbows, punches, hammer fist, everything seemed to be working for him here tonight. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Smack, look at that elbow. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knocking. And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of round number four. To play the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach, team.